Welcome to this tutorial video. In this video we'll be looking at Ohm's Law, in particular looking at how we can use a practical approach to calculate the unknown resistance in a circuit using Ohm's Law. So for this investigation we'll be using a voltmeter, an ammeter, a resistor, a switch and a variable power supply. Circuit is constructed as such, so really we just have a variable power supply, that's a, a battery symbol with a line through it. Similar to ones in school where you have a dial with a 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 volts. In series with a unknown resistor, in series with an ammeter and a switch and of course the voltmeter is connected in parallel across the unknown resistor. And we're going to change the variable supply, the voltage supply from 0 to 2 to 4 to 6 to 8 to 10 and measure the measured voltage across the resistor and the measured current running through the circuit. So here's a set of data that's already been collected for us. Let's look at how we can now graphically analyze that. So we want to construct a graph of volts on the vertical and current on the horizontal axis. Now this is a little bit counterintuitive. Traditionally the dependent variable in this scenario would be the current depending upon the independent variable, the voltage. However for this particular investigation we're reversing our axes. So voltage goes on the vertical and current on the horizontal. Here's our data. Let's see now if we can insert a scatter plot. Okay, from our scatter plot in Excel, select the data. Now I'm interested in the X being the current. I'll return that value. And in the Y, I need the voltage, and I'll return that value. All right. Okay. Here's our data being presented as a XY scatter plot. So I'll describe this as the Ohm's law graph. On top of that we'll add we'll add some labels down the bottom. We'll call this one our current in amps and also we'll add a vertical axis as well. And this one will be our voltage in volts. Okay, we're almost there. What we'll do now is we want to add a trend line. So with our trend line we want to set up an intercept at zero zero and we want to display an equation. There we have it. There's our graph of the voltage versus current. It's a straight line and it tells me that y equals 9.8727x. Let's see if we can make some sense of that. So here's our graph that we just measured. Now the y variable is actually voltage so we could replace that with voltage and the current is the x variable we can replace that with times current. So now we know the real relationship of this straight line is voltage equals 9.8727 multiplied by the current. Some of you may have recalled a voltage and current relationship through Ohm's law, V equals IR. If we want to find V, we cover it over with our hand and we end up with V equals I times R. Now this looks very similar to the equation or the expression we've got here for the gradient of this voltage current graph. We've got the voltage, voltage, the current, the current, this value and the resistor. So looking at this we can see the resistance is equal to 9.8727. So effectively by finding the gradient of a voltage current graph we've determined the resistance of this unknown circuit. So to conclude from this voltage current graph it can be seen that the resistance of the unknown resistor is approximately 9.9 .9 ohms. Well there you have it. I hope this has shown you how to use Excel and a line of best fit and an equation to determine the resistance of an unknown resistor via Ohm's law. Thanks for watching, keep working hard and study your physics.